Are you getting ready to prep your sample but don't quite know how to get from this to something you can run on a gel or an FPLC? Well, we have four tips to get you started. Tip number one, keep your protocol as simple as possible. More steps equals more variability between preparations. Number two, use protease inhibitors to minimize that pesky protein degradation when you're working with cells or tissues. But if you're working with plasma or serum, you're lucky. You often don't need to worry about those proteases. Number three, make sure that your protein quantitation method is compatible with the chemicals in your sample. You see, Bradford assays work well with DTT up to one molar. However, more than five millimolar DTT can affect a BCA assay. And if you're using detergent to solubilize your protein, then BCA is the better option. Number four, keep your protein extracts on ice, use them immediately or store them at minus 80. And you can aliquot them so they don't undergo freeze thaw cycles which can affect the proteins. Now, if you have tips or tricks of your own, you can share them. Send them on over to labnotes at biorad.com. And for more episodes, including details on how to prep samples for chromatography, check out Biorad Life Science YouTube channel. Don't be shy. If you think there's a topic we should have already covered, email us those suggestions as well. Back to work for me.